So now you approach me and say, Jesus is Savior. I want you to convince me that Jesus is Savior, and I will rebut it, and I will convince you that Jesus is only the Messiah, and he's not God. Almighty God is the only one Lord. Uh, uh, he has no partners, and uh, all the prophets in the Old Testament, including Jesus, the, all the prophets came with one single message, which is in Islam, we get Tawheed, that is oneness of, oneness of God. They all worship Almighty God, one creator, and you don't associate any partners with him. And one word for that in Islam, in, in, in Arabic, is Islam. So we are, the Christian, our, our Christian brethren are telling us now that Jesus is fully man and fully God. And he's co-equal and co-eternal with uh, Almighty God. And you quote John 1, 1 extensively, I had a debate not long ago. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. John 1, 14 said, and the Word became flesh and dwelt among us. According to the Christians, according to the Trinitarians, this is Jesus, God incarnate. Fully God, fully man. So we are telling you that Almighty God is only one Lord, and Him alone deserves to worship. And this concept of Trinity came later on. He has nothing to do with Jesus or any other prophets in the Old Testament. Okay. Mm. Uh, you've explained mm. that. Now, do you believe Jesus is the Son of God? Mm. Do you believe he's the Son of God? When he's the Son of God, you got to uh, elaborate on it because if you go to the Bible, in the Quran, Jesus is the Messiah. No, there's no Son of God. But if you go to the, you know, in the, in the Old Testament, where the, 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 uh, uh, Almighty God is the Father, Father and God as synonymous. And the Bible said that we are all sons of God. So when he says Son of God, is Jesus unique? Because the Bible said we are all sons of God. Uh, and even, the, even Jesus himself said, in, in, if you remember in, uh, uh, in the Gospel of uh, in the Gospel of John, chapter number 20, verse number 17, when Jesus said to Mary Magdalene, touch me not, for I am not yet ascended to the Father, but go to my brethren and say to them, I'm ascending to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. So according to Jesus, Almighty God is our Father in the Bible. No, there, is no other, there is no other connotation in there. So what you are saying, you don't believe that Jesus is the Son of God. That's what you're basically saying. No, when you say, when you say Jesus was not so, what do you mean? I said, the Bible said that we are all sons of God. When you say Jesus, don't believe in it. What do you mean by sons of God? Well, okay. Son of God. Okay, well, we're not actually all sons of God. We are all made in the image of God. We are all made in God's image. Now, we become sons of God, as it says in John 1, verse 12. As many as received him, to them gave he power to become sons of God. Of God. Oh, simply meaning as a as child one. of God. As many as one, anybody. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So now... So what does that mean? Oh, that means now we are, have become a child of God. What, you know, you, what do you mean child of God? Child. Like, like God's create, creation? Not creation, no. It means we, we become children of God. What do you mean children of God? Children of God. Because, so what is the difference between okay. that one and you said, you, I don't believe, we don't believe that Jesus is son okay, of God. Okay. Different, means, there are two, two differences there. Jesus okay. being son of God and us being uh, children of God. Okay. What is the difference? Okay, I'll, 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 I will explain to you. Now, when we now have received him, we have received the Holy Spirit. Mm. So now, because we have received the Holy Spirit, we now are adopted into the family of God. We have become now children of God. Now Jesus, who is the Son of God, going back now to the Old Testament, mm -hmm. where Isaiah the prophet prophesied 700 years before the coming of Christ, which is Messiah, anointed one. Now it says- You professed about the Messiah? Yes, about, the, uh, about his coming, yes. his first coming. Yes, the first coming. What do you say? You said Messiah. Yeah, Messiah. But, but not God incarnate. Remember last time I debated with you? Not God. I will explain to okay. you. I will explain to you. Now, it says, unto us a child is born. Unto us a son is given. And his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, and the Prince of Peace. Now that's speaking about Jesus. That's Isaiah 9, 6 here quoted. Isaiah 9, 6, yes. But, now it says, 
the son a son is given yes now jesus let but me as, explain to you but you got to understand as i nine six is. as i nine six never said jesus and no. and if you go to jews the, no the jews of today they know that scripture you are quoting from the the history from the translation that verse they said is talking about king king hezekiah but even that verse you're talking about unto us son is being even that verse if you get as analysis we said you said it's talking about jesus but jesus the verse said that he recalled but jesus when, when he was on this earth he was never called mighty god or everlasting father not a single verse in the bible why jesus is called Emmanuel, he, 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 he no, is called Emmanuel, no 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 no, no you are you are, you are, don't move you are going to you are now going to going into uh gospel of matthew uh what matthew 23 you are going to go sort of Matthew now. Now I'm not talking about go sort of Matthew. Yeah. You're going to Matthew now, uh, uh, where it says that, that Emmanuel, that uh, a virgin will conceive and he will give birth to a son. You now and they will call it Emmanuel. Mm. You are let's stick to Isaiah 9 6. I said Jesus. Yes, yes. This verse said that he will be called the Mighty God and mm. Everlasting Father. Mm. But I said that Jesus in the Bible, when he was on the earth, there is not a single verse, nowhere. You cannot tell me, go to history where Jesus was called mighty God or everlasting father. But if you read the Bible, we are told that Jesus is seated at the right hand of the mighty God in heaven. Jesus now, according to you, is in heaven and he's seated at the right hand of God. You read it in the Gospel of uh, Luke, chapter number 22, verse number 69, says that, that we see that the Son of Man, that is Jesus, is seated at the right hand of the mighty God in heaven. So if Jesus is seated at the right hand of the mighty God in heaven, it cannot be God, and he's not mighty God. How many mighty gods are there? Okay, there's only one. There's but only, it, there's only one. But let me explain to you. From, 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 okay. from that same scripture, yeah. Isaiah 9, verse 6. Yeah. He says, a child, yes, is born. Yeah. Now, a, and a son is given. Now, Jesus, who is the word. Yeah. Yes, he is the word. And, and God and this word is one. I don't have two gods. I don't have three gods. I have one God. Now, Jesus, who is the word, in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. Okay? So that word, yeah. that word was made flesh and dwelt among us. And the scripture says, that word that was made flesh and dwelt among us, is Jesus so we see Jesus was not created Jesus is not an angel Jesus in fact as it clearly says not my words but you said, you said Jesus was not created no he was not created. that means that you have read your Bible the Bible says Jesus created. created the Bible says Jesus was created no he was not no let me quote it you have read your Bible this is the problem when I met the Christians you know they half read the Bible the Bible says Jesus was created can I quote okay. it you can quote it. Yeah, yeah. Can, yeah. No, you yeah. said you said that Jesus yes. was not created. Yeah. What about if I proved to you that the Bible said that Jesus was not created? Yeah, quote what the Bible says. Yeah. If you read the Bible in Colossians, mm -hmm. in uh, Colossians 1.15, said that the Son is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation. The firstborn of all creation. Now, if Jesus was the firstborn of all creation, how can he be the creator? Remember, he's a okay. creator, the okay. firstborn of all creation. Okay. So that means that he didn't know about this verse. Okay. The firstborn first of all creation. Okay. That means that yes. he was born. Yes. He was a creator he, creation. He he was not created. Go back. The firstborn. He says you quoted. Oh, the, no, the firstborn, the firstborn of all creation. Of creation. That yes. means that he was the part of the creation. Okay. Remember, he's plain English. You're on camera. The know, firstborn of all creation. I know. I know. We are all creation. So if he's the firstborn of all creation, first, he is one of the creation. Look at the word firstborn. Yeah, yeah, okay. It doesn't matter. It doesn't, yeah. it doesn't change. Born. But it doesn't change the, 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 the context there. It doesn't change. The firstborn, he said that Jesus wasn't created. Now this verse telling you, we are all created in your verse, but Jesus was the firstborn of all creation. Now I'm telling you, if Jesus was the firstborn of all creation, how can he be the creator? Okay. It doesn't make sense. Go so you, 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 you uh, at me that you didn't know about this verse. So let's go. I, I, I do. Um, go back to Isaiah 9, verse 6. As I said earlier, one about the child that was born. Yes. So yes. he was born. In in Colossians, it talks about the first born. 
Yes, so Jesus was born through the Virgin yeah. Mary. But so, you, so he was not created. But he, so he's, no, no. So, this verse here is said he was the what? The firstborn. Look, this plain the English. The for, of all creation. Yeah, he was the born. Yeah, but born, he was born no. into this world. The firstborn of what? Into this world. Yeah, okay. The firstborn of what? Of what? Of all creation. He's a creator. No, no, he wasn't the, no, he, no, no, he wasn't, no, 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 by who? God. By God. Yes. Yeah, but, but yeah. Okay. With God. So, 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 so this is what it says. It's he, a by God. He was in the world. John one. No, don't don't digress. One. We're digressing on that. This one said said Jesus was the firstborn all creation. When he said everything was made by God, we believe in that. Yeah. No, everything was made by God. We are all created by God, including Jesus was a creation. The Bible, Bible is emphatic. Unless you reject a verse. Your name is Lim. Is Lamin. Lamin. Yeah, and you, what is your name? Fact? Lamin, Robert. Robert, yeah. Lamin. I perceive where the Muslims mm. or Islam mm. as a religion mm. is confused because they see Jesus just as a prophet and looking at it not just a prophet but also that he was created so from you have that in your mind was created, yeah. then it's difficult for you to see and to understand that Jesus was not created he's not an angel and that he is the creator and the creator is God because as I said in, in, in the beginning, <laughs> in the beginning, not my word, you're blaspheming brother, now. No, you're blaspheming. In, not my word, in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God and the same word which is God was made flesh and dwelt among listen us. To me. Now it says, listen to me, okay. my brother, and, oh. and, and it says this. I'm please. listening, yeah. Mm. I don't want and, to. And it says, and, and he was in the world and the world was made by him Do you know and, why? He, and, and, and listen to me i'm quoting what the, the the scripture says and it says he came unto his own and his own did not receive him so his own god has a people listen. yes the jews the god of israel so he came unto his own his own and his own did not receive him but he says in verse 12 of, of john but as many as received him to them gave the listen power to, to become look, look. sons of God. So listen, Jesus listen, listen. is God, look, the look. word look. that was made flesh. Listen to me. I think it's, you know, you know if you want to, you know, that's why I'm, I always advise my Christian brethren, read the whole Bible. He said, I read very someone here. He said he's, he reads only, or he believes in only the New Testament. The Bible has an old and a new Testament. There is no, there is no new without the old. You quote in John, we came later on. Yeah, Matthew, Mark, John was the last gospel. They stick with his, went only to John, 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 John. And you know, in the Old Testament, God himself said a lot of things in the Old Testament. And the prophets in the Bible, every single prophet in the Bible, believed in only, all, worshipped only one God. Listen to me. Yeah, yeah. But why is that you people now? Look, so many a single prophet in the Bible who worshipped a trying God. You cannot find it. It's not there. 